Hello mitten making friends. I am attempting to put a video together to give you some instruction on how to make fleece mittens and I'm going to do my best to go through in detail so if any of this seems redundant just fast forward to the parts that look um, like what you're looking for but hopefully all the information is here and if it is not also please feel free to reach out to me with any questions and I will be happy to get the correct information to you. So I'll start out just by briefly going through the pattern. So this is just a three part fleece mitten. So we have a pattern um, for the right or left, you'll need one piece that looks like this. So for example, and that is the top of the mitten. Uh, dimensions on this from the top to the bottom here is 11 and a half inches. Um, and then the width is five inches. And then for the left-handed mitten, um, your dimensions, obviously this includes the thumb. <laughs> so this length here is nine and a quarter inches. And then this length here is six and a half inches with the width also being five inches to match the top piece. And then this will be where the fingers are and then the thumb. So the distance between the end of the thumb to approximately right here is eight inches. And then this is the part where the, I guess I can't really <laughs> do it with my hand that way. Um, the fold of the hand is anyway, five inches length and the width will be the same five inch width. I didn't write that on here, but it probably would make sense that it's all the same width. So, to make the left hand, those are the three pieces that you need to make the right hand. Essentially, you turn these two over. So you're really cutting out the exact same pieces for both mittens. The only thing to keep in mind is if the fleece you are using has a different texture on one side or the other, you'll want to make sure that when you cut them out that you actually do flip it over for that other hand just so that the texture is the same on both sides. It doesn't matter honestly which is which, which you choose to use for the inside or outside um, of the mitten, but just to make sure that they are cohesive. If you're using a fleece like this, it doesn't even matter because it's the same on both sides. So giving you a high level overview, this is one pair of mittens. It's a right hand and a left hand as you can see and ultimately those two pieces are the same, these two pieces are the same, and then of course these two pieces are the same. So when we sew them, that is when we need to be sure that we're sewing them a right hand and a left hand. I have made plenty of mistakes sewing two left or two right hands. So it's just important to make sure you have the pieces aligned correctly for that. Okay, so to begin our first mitten, we're going to set this long piece to the side and we'll first sew our two short pieces together. So what I like to do is I line the thumbs up and I'll also mention that when you're cutting your fleece, it does not need to be exact to the pattern. Um, we can, when we're sewing them, we want to make sure we're sewing them as accurate as we can, but we can always cut extra off. So if you make them oversized that's better than too small and that's okay oversized mittens are okay um, if you need to trace the lines for your pattern with a permanent marker that is fine just make sure that you trace that line a little bit wider than the actual pattern so that way when we sew it we don't have that magic marker line in there or permanent marker line in there um, otherwise if you have chalk fabric chalk that is probably the best thing to use to trace on fleece um, that way you can actually see your lines. So, okay, getting back to this. So the first thing we're going to do, we line up our thumbs. We get everything lined here. And we're going to sew along this edge here, this inside edge. We'll sew up around the thumb and we'll come back here and we'll stop when we're in line with this corner. 